Some people call me Mr. E. We want to welcome you to What's the Rap? It is a talk show that we have started here at the Jackson Cultural Arts Center here in Jackson, Alabama. It's a place where young brothers and sisters can come together and they have an opportunity to express themselves, to express their views, their values, their experiences, their challenges, and their dreams, and especially their dreams, their future, the things that they want to accomplish in life. Today we have on the spotlight Mr. Trey Robinson, aka known as Celebrity Rich. Oh, yeah, Celebrity yeah. Rich. What's up? We have him today, and we want to just welcome you to the Thank show, you. brother. Thank you for having me. Okay, you. good to be good to <laughs> have you. Thank you. Listen, um, we're going to talk to him and let him tell us his story. We have something that happens here at the Jackson Cultural Arts Center where we have a play that's called Telling Our Stories. And it's about our history, where we come from, the slave route and all of those kind of things, all the way up to the future and possibilities of things that we would like to happen in our lives. So we're going to do the same thing here. We're going to let Mr. Uh, Trey Robinson tell his story about his past, his present, his future. This way you'll get a chance to know some things about him. Number one, he's a rapper and he's performed here. And uh, you've probably seen some of his, his music and some of his concerts and what have you. And, but you never get a chance to see what his personal life is like. Yeah. And that's what we're going to do today. That's what that's what the rap is all about today, the talk show. And so we got a chance to talk to him today and find out more about him. First of all, I want to talk to you about how I met this young brother, this fantastic brother, intelligent brother. We was on the street, <laughs> on the street in front of my theater. And he was with a bunch of guys and they were just out there standing out there talking. So me as a big brother, and always trying to teach or mentor, I walk over to them and I find out what their aspirations were. And all of them, they were like 19, 20, 18, 19, 20 years of age. And they are all discussing and deciding what they are going to do with the rest of their lives. Okay, and that's when I heard Trey say, I want to be a rapper. I want to be an entertainer. And I thought, that's right up my alley. That's what we do right here at the Jackson Cultural yeah. Arts Center. So um, with that in mind, I said, son, uh, let me hear and see what you do. Okay, and so he came on, uh, uh, demonstrated, audition, you might say, here uh, with, with his material and what have you. And the next thing we know, we were setting a date for a show here. Oh, yeah. And this brother got out there and when he got all of his other brothers that rap, I Thank think it was maybe about 18, yeah. wasn't it? <laughs> it was a yeah. lot. It was a lot. Shout out. Shout out. Slop. And those guys really came here and they, they, they showed their talent. And I was really impressed. Even though I'm not a big fan for rap, I am a big fan for spoken word. And I'm a big fan for our youth because I want to see them accomplish great things. And they have their dreams, they may not be the same as mine, but it's my job to support them and show them, you know, teach them what I have learned, what I've learned in my life, but at the same time, encourage them. Don't feel bad, this ain't different. Put some chalk on a painted picture. These square niggas like Frank Pitches ain't playing back in the game. I've been on my own since the sandbox. Big dog, I'm saying like, I'm real nigga, but they flag up like a flag up, like a mailbox. Most of my most of my own um, family members, um, I don't too often see a lot of them, but mm -hmm. you know, I have a Good relationship with mostly all of my family members. Uh, my mother, we have a terrific, we have a terrific um, relationship and a bond. Now, who is that? Give your mother a shout out. What's your mom's name? <laughs> shout out my mom. Uh, <laughs> okay. Um, all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We we got a real good relationship. Um, some people mistake her for my sister sometimes because like 
we just so cool. Like it's always that that cool yeah. vibe. Like I can tell her anything, and she knows about. Like sometimes I try to hide stuff from her. She already knows. Yeah. yeah so okay. Yeah, yeah. So we got that type of bond. Um, father. Yeah. Tell me about <clears throat> your father. Now, were you raised with your biological father uh, in your household? I mean, no, he was never in the household, but. Um, he, he visited, visited me frequently. Uh, he, he came to get me a lot. Okay. Um, but nah, he was never in the house. They never had a, um, a good relationship like that. Okay. So yeah, so they was never in the same house together. But yeah, he, he was um, he was in my life up until like I was eight years old. And um, okay. yeah, he just recently tried to reach out though. But um, he cool. I never like had any spite or, or anger towards my father because you know, sometimes a, a man can't provide like he wants to. Sometimes things take time. It takes patience. Yeah. So maybe he wanted to be there, but he just couldn't because he he didn't want to he didn't want to be seen in a different light. Like like he yeah. wasn't doing it. Yeah. So you know what I'm saying? So you know that's time. really mature of you because you know I'm in the school system and I talk to a lot of young men, especially our bro our, 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 my brothers. Mm -hmm. Okay, and they're angry with their father. I mean, I've heard some of them say some things that just made me feel like they just hated their fathers. And to me, uh, because I've always been raised to honor my father and my mother, mm. you know, I have to try to tell them, wait a minute, take your mouth off of your father. Because you can't give something you, you didn't get. Okay? And a lot of our families have been broken. My family has been broken, mm. you know? And um, I have to learn, that had to learn, and to teach them, look, find something good to say about your father. Because that's where you came from. That's who you are. Mm -hmm. And if you think that you are so much better, then you go out there and do it. And make your father proud because when he sees you, he knows that that's my son and that's the goodness that could have been in me, but I didn't have the opportunity. So I'm giving a shout out for brothers and sisters, brothers especially who are in prison and in bad situations or whatever. And we have had to come up out of slavery. We've had to come out of so much negativity. We need to get up off of each other and realize that with all that we have gone through, it's a, I mean, it's just a miracle that we do anything right. Mm -hmm. And we've had to deal with so much. So that's one thing that I, I want to just commend you on for being having a good attitude toward your toward your father. And I'm gonna ask that you young men out there find something good to say about your father. The fact that he gave you life. Now if he's giving you life, you got a brain, you got arms and legs, you can breathe, you can do. And you can impress him with all that he has given you because he's given you everything that you need. Go forward and make him proud of you. Mm -hmm. That's what I say. Yeah, but okay. you know, everyone has a different life. So, you know, you got kids out here whose fathers beat them, beat their mothers too. Mm -hmm. So, you know what I'm saying? Well, let me ask you this. What is the chance of him being beaten? See, that's what I mean by you can't give something you didn't get. A lot of times, if a father's beating his child and maybe out of the way, what, you got to think about who beat us even 300 years ago. So some of this beating and all of this stuff is what we have learned. And if you have learned that, that's probably all you know in order to try to discipline the next. Mm -hmm. So it's a mistake, it's not good, but you have to kind of stop and consider what happened to him yeah. and what to happen to his father and his father's father. All this can be passed, can be a generational curse that keeps falling, coming down. But you have to be the one to stop it, especially since we've gotten to this point now to where you can, you know, even with me coming to talk to you and say, listen, brother, stop and think about what your father may have had to go through. You don't know. You wasn't there. If he had had a great life, he would have given you a great life. If he hadn't been beaten, he probably wouldn't have beaten you. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're all dealing with something. Yeah. Okay, that's not an excuse, but it's for you to stop and think and bless where you came from and be thankful to God, I'm here. Mm -hmm. You know, you might've been beat, but you're here now and you can make it.